my, my, my folks built this building in 1948. And they had a little restaurant here until 1965. From 65 until 79, the building sort of sat vacant. And we used it to, to live in, more or less. But I didn't really establish a business until 79 when I turned the building into an, a studio gallery. I gravitated to portraiture almost instinctively, maybe. I don't know. It just appealed to me more than anything else because whenever I'd go to the museum and I would walk through the, the art gallery, I would see the portraits, and they were always the thing that impressed me. To compare what you know what artists used to do with the current selfie thing, I mean, I, it's a, it's a, an interesting thing. It's part of the, the youth culture so much more than it, for someone my age, you know. <laughs> uh, I think you know it, it's probably down through the years when you take a selfie. I mean, I, I assume all these things are going to be recorded. And I don't know how long things last on the internet. They, they last forever, I guess. But it might be interesting to chronicle your life in selfies. Taking a selfie just for me is a marker in time. Um, it's like what I'm doing when my life is changing or growing. Not only do I get to control you know, my own timeline with selfies, but I get to look back and see how I changed. I don't know whether um, there would be a connection for somebody getting a, taking a selfie or having a, a portrait done. I take selfies because the ability to frame myself in a way that I feel I look nice is actually really valuable to me. Um, I have not had the opportunity throughout most of my life to control the way I am looked at. Um, whenever I started taking selfies for the internet, I could angle the camera and frame things and use filters and color as much as I wanted to get the best me to distribute to the masses, basically. You try, in my business anyway, to flatter people. So ruling out the, the bad things that you might see in, in someone's appearance uh, whether it be a couple of pounds or maybe a wrinkle here or there that, that you know, I mean that that's what you try to do you're, you're honest about it. You know, you won't necessarily get rid of it Photographers use lighting to do a lot of that stuff And now nowadays they use a computer to you know, you can do anything with a computer but <clears throat> you, you like to combine your your self-expression and and your technique to convey the best image that you can. Artists do self-portraits. I mean, if you, if you turn around, I did a, a self-portrait that, that's on the floor. There's another self-portrait up there, and I've got a couple more that I've done. It's sort of a tradition. Um, artists learn to paint by painting someone, and you know, painting yourself is the cheapest model you can find. You know. It is somewhat easy to feel like you've gotten lost in the sea of people. So being able to put up a photo and get a few likes or pluses or whatever makes you feel a little bit more like there's a place where you are and you belong.